Hey everybody, Alec from HighTouch here. Uh, just quickly want to walk you through HighTouch's newest integration with Nextdoor, specifically their conversion API, which is going to allow advertisers to really quickly and easily, uh, in a secure fashion, send conversion events up to Nextdoor without having to rely on the pixel. Um, so really quick, when we talk about conversion events, we're talking about things like page views or add to carts or purchases, any signal that you're going to want to actually go and send to that advertising platform. Now, real quick, just to make sure we're all on the same page, why does Nextdoor care? Why do these signals matter? Um, they're going to use those conversion events for a couple things. The first is performance reporting and attribution. So understanding, hey, once a user clicked a Nextdoor ad, did they actually convert in store or on your website? You have to send those conversion events back to Nextdoor so that they can do the attribution reporting. Next is then machine learning models to go and actually optimize spend. So they're going to take those signals and they're going to actually figure out who to then go target, uh, what type of placement to use, um, really using that machine learning to go and optimize your spend on campaigns. Um, and the last one's audience building. So being able to go and do retargeting based on purchasers or suppression, things like that. Um, just being able to use those signals and understand who you're targeting the platforms. So really important when we talk about conversion events, we're talking about sending uh, all of your available conversion events, so 100% of your signals. Now the pixel that is currently the, the main way to send conversions to Nextdoor, um, that's getting harder and harder with all the different privacy changes coming out, um, which is why we're shifting to this conversion API model uh, as you're able to send all of your conversions. You're additionally able to then enrich it with first party data to go ahead and drive up the match potential. So using email address or first name, any other first party signals that uh, Nextdoor can then go use to, to tie back to the users in their platform. So what does this actually look like? The architecture looks a little bit like this, where you're taking your online conversions, your offline conversions, all your first party data and storing that in your cloud data warehouse. So platforms like Snowflake or BigQuery, Databricks, Redshift, that your data team has already stored the data in for reporting purposes. Um, HighTouch is simply just gonna read off of that and, and we're gonna streamline uh, sending those conversions down into Nextdoor. So as I'll show you in the demo uh, next here, you're gonna go into HighTouch, you're going to write one SQL query uh, and be able to set up an automated pipeline down into Nextdoor to send those conversions, uh, again, in an enriched fashion. A couple benefits I want to call out here. This is totally free if it's your first sync in HighTouch. Um, you can get started in just a couple minutes. HighTouch is never storing any data. We're simply reading off the warehouse and passing it through to Nextdoor, and we're giving you that automated pipeline with full observability. Um, it will then also allow you to rely on more secure and rich signals, which will hopefully improve your return on ad spend. And it's the same type of model that you can go and uh, eventually scale to other your, your other ad platforms, places like Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, and more. Um, so jumping into high touch, let's actually look at what this looks like in the platform. So all you're going to do is set up your source, which in this case would be Snowflake, and your destination, which is going to be Nextdoor. Um, so if I come into Nextdoor, I would just hit... Or, into destinations, I would hit add destination, come right over to Nextdoor and enter in my API token, which you can just find directly within Nextdoor. You're then gonna come and create a model. Um, so in this case, we're gonna do a quick model off of Snowflake. We're gonna use a SQL query. Let's do something super simple. Select star from public.events and left join our user table onto our events table. So all we're gonna do in this case is join our events to our user table where you're gonna get an output that looks a little something like this. Every one of these rows is a different event or a conversion. And then we're joining onto our PII or our user table to get that first party data. So now we're gonna hit continue. I'm gonna call this demo underscore next door. Purposes next door Cappy. I'm gonna pick my primary key, which in this case is just gonna be a message ID specific to the event. I'm going to hit finish. Um, so I'm going to publish this model. And now I'm going to go ahead and set up what we call a sync, which is actually sending the conversions to Nextdoor. Um, so in this case, I need to grab my client ID, which Nextdoor will be able to provide to you. I'm going to pop mine in there. I can then pick my uh, event names, which are going to come back directly from Nextdoor. In this case, we don't have many set up, but you can see them here. Let's just fire them as conversion. I'm going to grab my timestamp, which again is just pulling off of Snowflake. Let's see what timestamp is the field. I'm now able to add any first party identifiers that I want. So anything in Snowflake that I am grabbing, things like email, first name, last name, 
I can grab here, let me grab customer.last name, first name, and email. Cool. Uh, I can now pick my action source, or I can use a column from Snowflake if I have different action sources. In this case, let's just say other. Uh, I don't want to test a event code. Uh, you know what? Add in one for this purposes. Uh, and I don't. I do want High Touch to automatically detect my PII. Cool. So that's all that's happening here. Is really I'm just telling High Touch what to read from Snowflake and how to write it then to Nextdoor. I can go ahead and set up a test event. So I'm going to grab one random row from Snowflake, and then I'm going to hit sync as added row. Cool. And what's going to actually happen is it's going to show me the payload, which looks a little something like this. Um, and it looks like we are all good. We had a success. So I know we are OK. I'm going to hit continue. Um, cool, let's test sync. Now I can set my recurrence or interval. Um, really able to get flexible here with how often I want to send these conversions. So in this case, let's say I want to send it at once every hour. Um, I'm going to just do it one uh, every one hour and then remain that um, effective as indefinitely. Cool. I'm now going to hit publish. What's going to happen here is all I'm going to do is click run, and we're going to have our data firing down into Nextdoor. Um, and it's that easy. So now we have enriched conversions being sent to Nextdoor from Snowflake, and we're able to replace our pixel, get better conversion events, and uh, our, our team is actually able to then go ahead and use those conversions in the Nextdoor platform. Um, so I hope this was helpful. I want to call out again that your first destination with High Touch and your first sync is free. So you can go ahead and spin this up in just a couple minutes, fully self-serve without having to worry uh, about talking to our team. If you want to talk to our team, feel free to reach out uh, and we can go ahead and get this set up for you. Uh, awesome. Thanks, everybody.